the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 86, Judges 19-21 Assembly called without principle. One event that began with the death of a Levite's concubine caused all Israel to fight in battle. This summarizes the chaos that was frequent during the era of Judges. First point. During the era of Judges, not only an individual, a family, and a tribe acted according to their own wills, but even the assembly did as they pleased. According to the laws in a kingdom of priests, Israelite men who were over the age of 20 were expected to attend the three annual festivals in order to stand before God's presence and to bring tithe. If this system had been maintained, then problems would have been a lot less ugly. If they had kept to this system, the people of Israel would have experienced God's forgiveness, sharing among neighbors, and peace with other nations. But unfortunately, the era of Judges was a time when this collapsed. This led to internal and external conflicts, as well as misunderstandings between the people. Second point, a Levite who lived according to his own will made two bad decisions. The Bible records an incident of a Levite during the year of Judges. This Levite committed two serious sins. The first was disobeying the laws concerning the priests and the Levite. In a kingdom of priests, they must not marry women defiled by prostitution or are divorced from their husbands because priests are holy to their God. He did accordingly to his own will rather than following the regulations that was given to him. In those days, Israel had no king. Now a Levite who lived in a remote area in the hill country of Ephraim took a concubine from Bethlehem in Judah. The second was foolishly interpreting the incident of Gibeah and making unnecessary internal conflict between the people. He said to her, get up, let's go. But there was no answer. Then the man put her on his donkey and set out for home. When he reached home, he took a knife and cut up his concubine limb by limb into twelve parties and sent them into all the areas of Israel. Third point. During this time, Gibeah housed the people who were similar to those who lived in Sodom and Gomorrah during the days of Abraham. Gibeah was a town located approximately six kilometers north from Jerusalem. This place was also the hometown of Saul. Saul later designated this place as the capital of Israel. What happened in Gibeah resembled what happened back in Sodom and Gomorrah. The content of what happened in Gibeah can be found in Judges 19 verse 22. During the year of Judges, what happened in Gibeah was known as it was a time when all lived according to their will and as they pledged. Fourth point, the tribe of Benjamin should not have acted according to their will, but according to the laws in the kingdom of priests. Concerning what happened in Gibeah, one Levite rose up to open an emergency assembly between the Israelites. The first to explain the situation was the Levite. This led to an uproar from the remaining 11 tribes. The 11 tribes all rallied together to solve this issue by force. This was indeed a decision made according to their will. The 11 tribes gathered here 
excluded the tribe of Benjamin. The men of Israel had taken an oath at Mizpah. Not one of us will give his daughter in marriage to a Benjamite. The people went to Bethel where they sat before God until evening, raising their voices and weeping bitterly. The conclusion made by the eleven tribes was the following. First, they would not return home until they eliminated the people of Gibeah. Second, they would select 40,000 people to punish the tribe of Benjamin. Third, the 11 tribes would not give their daughters to the tribe of Benjamin. Fourth, those who disagreed would be killed. The 11 tribes gathered and agreed to such a foolish outcome and then forced the tribe of Benjamin to follow. But the tribe of Benjamin did not listen to this and instead gathered in Gibeah to fight with the other tribes. They also acted according to their will. What they should have done was to act according to the laws of a kingdom of priests. Fifth point, during the year of Judges, the laws of a kingdom of priests were like a blood pattern. The book of Judges records many instances and many people, but they all acted according to their will and as they pleaded. They made stupid commitments, disobeyed God's laws, did not take the role of not light properly, and brought internal conflicts. This all meant that the laws of a kingdom of priests became only a blood pattern. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading. This is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.